Today we are doing a workout all about the basics of using weights. Also, don't forget September 1st, 2022, we start my 30 day Pilates for you movement challenge. Details are below. Let's get started. Today we are doing a workout with weights all about the basics. So whether you are an advanced mover or whether you're just getting started with weights, this is a perfect place for you to be. So I have two sets here. I have a set of five pounds and a set of 10 pounds. And I recommend that you have a set of light and a set of a little heavier just to see what's best for you. You can do three pounds and eight pounds, three and five, whatever works for you to get started. And then I highly recommend that you add weights as you feel like you get stronger. So let's start standing. I want your feet underneath your hips. So you always want a really good base of support here. And then what you're gonna do is bend your elbows and then straighten. So we're gonna do a basic bicep curl. Now the first thing to know is basic doesn't mean easy, especially if these moves are new for you. It just means that I wanna lay the foundation to show you some of the moves when we use weights that kind of we build from, and then also give you a great full body workout with weights that you can do at home, that you can do any time of day to really feel that you're getting stronger, you're helping your bones, you're helping your strength, helping your balance. All right, so again, this is called a bicep curl. You can have your feet hip distance apart like I mentioned, or you can have one foot behind the other like this. And many of these arm moves you can also do seated. So if you feel like sitting is the best option for you in a chair right now, then you can go right ahead and sit down for some of these arm moves. All right, let's do two more. And last one. Nice job. We're gonna go into a shoulder press. So feet, same position, one back, one forward, or you can just have them next to each other. And you're gonna exhale arms overhead. Okay, now something like this, I would typically go personally to my heavier set, all right? So you wanna find a place that is doable for you but definitely starts to challenge your strength a little bit. So by, let's say we do 10 or 12 repetitions, I want you to be feeling it at that point. If you could do 30 repetitions easily, the weights are too light, okay? You need to challenge yourself and go a little bit heavier. If you can't do three, they're too heavy. So I want you to be able to do between eight to 12 repetitions with a little bit of challenge at the end. Like when we get to the end, I want you to think, I'm glad we're not doing any more right now, <laughs> but you can still hold good form. So I would know these are too heavy for me if I like had to bend my knees to really press them up, or if I was getting a lot of tension maybe in my neck. Okay, last one. Nice job, and bring them down. Okay, so now, we are gonna go into a squat. So again, you're gonna decide the set of weights that's best for you. What's gonna happen is you can bring them together and then just bring them at your chest like this. And we're gonna start like that. You're gonna have your feet underneath your shoulders, so that's a little wider than hip distance. So for me, that's about here. And they're slightly turned out. And I'm gonna sit back and down and come back up. So from the side, it looks like this. And so I like to have the weights at my chest like this versus on my shoulders, simply because it's less pressure for me with my history of prolapse. So I have a history of prolapse with a surgery with that. Squats are really important and really good for us to do throughout life, but I find they feel a little more comfortable with the weights here. But again, if you feel differently, you can put them at your shoulders like this, or you can even start with them kind of at your sides here, and they can slide along your legs. So you have options. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, that's what I'll keep telling you. Lots of options. And again, I don't want you to be afraid of trying a squat. 
Squatting is one of the most functional movements we do. When we get on and off the toilet, we squat. When we get down in the kitchen and try to reach under a cabinet, we squat. In and out of the car, we're squatting. So don't be afraid of working into this motion. Two more. Nice job. Arms come down. And we're gonna go into a lunge, okay? So this too, don't be afraid of working into a lunge. And if you're just working on lunges, then you can ditch the weights for now and put your hands on a chair or a kitchen counter to help with balance, okay? So I want the feet really wide, wide stance. So far forward, far back. That's the first key to your lunge. The second is that back heel needs to be lifted. Then we're lowering and lifting. So what I'm doing is I'm aiming my back knee directly towards the ground. My posture and my back stay upright. Inhale, exhale. So again, you can leave the weights behind or you can even just hold a weight in your left hand and hold on to the wall or a chair with your right hand. That's a great option as you're just getting into this motion. But again, it's a really good functional motion, getting on and off the ground. Lunges are key, going up the stairs. Okay, one more. Nice, big step forward. Shake it out, other side. Okay, reach that right leg back. Again, really far back, wide stance. Your back heel is lifted. Inhale, exhale. And this is a great workout to use if you are, again, just getting into using weights and realizing the importance of some resistance training. It's also really nice when you're recovering from an injury or even a surgery, before you get into some of the more complicated workouts, come back and really feel comfortable with the basics again. So these four movements we've done so far are kind of key to everything else we do in weights. It'll really help you set yourself up for success and confidence. Two more. Nice job. Come all the way in. And we're gonna do one more and I'm gonna give you options. So I want you to keep just one weight and again, I want this one to be your heavier option, okay? Your heavier weight option. What we're gonna do is bring the right foot forward and your left foot is back. Your right hand, again, can be used for balance on the counter or something. My left hand is hanging down and I'm gonna pull it up like I'm starting a lawnmower. This is called a row, so we're getting into the back. And if this is not comfortable, you can come down and do it right here. And this is a great option and you can even pad that back knee if you need to. Like put a pillow under it or something if it's hurting to kneel, okay? Three, nice big exhale every, one, every time. Two, one. And then we're gonna switch sides. And I'll turn so you can still see me from the side. So I have my left foot forward. It's almost that lunge stance again, right? It's the exact same, except I'm leaning forward. I can place my hand on that thigh and I'm leaning my body forward. So the breathing is gonna help kind of slow your heart rate down a little bit and just help you feel like it's a more controlled motion. Three. Two, one. Nice job, bring it in. I'm gonna place the weight down. And I'm just gonna walk in place for a moment. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. One more. Nice job. So like I said, that's a great start and it's also a great routine to do every day. You can do it on its own. You can do it with other workouts as you're getting into resistance training. You can also do this all the way through again for a second circuit. 
that would take you to 20 minutes and that's an awesome full body weight lifting workout for home. And I will see you on your mat soon. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, comment, and subscribe to be notified when I have new videos that come out. You can find more, including my exclusive unlimited community with full length workouts, a workout calendar, recipes, and more over at jessicavalantpilates.com. Join our unlimited program. I would love to see you there.